Wilkinson? She what? Okay. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Yes, I will be there for ten. Well, that was a spectacular display of assertiveness. I mean, could you be more obedient? Oh, fuck off. What was I supposed to tell him? To go fuck himself? Pretty much, yes. That's exactly what you should have told him, Rose. And then what? Well, you know what I think. You need to push yourself if you want to succeed. Make sacrifices- Haven't I made them already? That was quite a shift, no? I mean, seriously. What was that, 12 or 14 hours? It's not like I had a choice, you know. It was either that or getting fired, so... Listen, I was sort of a bitch this morning, and well, I'm sorry. Yeah, you were right, though. I mean... Shouldn't I have already achieved something? And I can't even get into the fucking academy. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. You're talking this not cut out for this nonsense. Screw that. You've worked your ass off and this time you're gonna show them how amazing you are. But what if I'm not? What if you are? God. I probably won't see you tomorrow, so, well, good luck. Thanks.
Rosalie, how's my favourite ballerina? You know I'm doing fine, Mum. Just practising and dancing. We don't really do anything else at the Academy. I must say, I was sceptical about you moving away, but you proved me wrong when you got the scholarship. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Mummy. You should see your father. They were actually thinking of visiting you soon. No, Mum. I mean, the city's expensive, and I wouldn't have time to see you anyway. Maybe another time. Yeah, maybe another time. Look, Mum, I I've got to go. The girls want to discuss choreography. I'll call you soon, I promise. You always say that, Rosalie. Miss Travers? Miss Travers? Quickly. So, Miss Travers, are you prepared better today than the last time? Yes, Mr. Stephen, I am. Certainly hope so. I must admit, I quite admire you for being here again. Not many girls would have the guts to show up after such an embarrassment. I assure you, Mr. Stephen, this won't happen again. You're lucky Mrs. Dunn wasn't here the last time. But we'll put that incident in the past, shall we? As you're well aware, you have a lot of competition today. You'll need to beat your best. You know the score. Abigail will play the music for you. Whenever you're ready, Miss Travers. Candidates would like to see again are Miss Mackay, Miss Patterson, 